For ancient Egypt, the Nile was everything. But every year, it brought a seasonal flood that covered the land. If most Egyptian homes and villages were built from humble mud brick, how did these seemingly fragile structures survive the powerful waters of the Nile year after year? First of all, it's because of the materials used. Mud bricks weren't just mud. They mixed Nile silt, straw, and sometimes crushed pottery, then sun-dried them. The straw held it all together like ancient rebar. They also employed some techniques. The most common was the use of a stone plinth at the base of the walls. Before starting with mud brick, they would lay several courses of more durable, water-resistant stone brick. This raised the more vulnerable mud brick above the immediate reach of rising waters, preventing erosion and saturation from the ground up. Foundations were often thicker and deeper, providing better stability against moisture. Second was the planning. The buildings had thick, inward-sloping walls for strength. Streets were narrow and curved to steer flood water away. Third is the location. Villages weren't built right on the river's edge. They were placed just above flood levels on natural or man-made mounds called gaziras, also at a matter of community preparation. The annual flood was predictable. Villagers knew it was coming and would move valuable possessions to higher ground. Once the waters receded, communal efforts would quickly repair any damage, often by simply patching or replastering the mud brick. The materials were cheap and readily available. If you like history and architecture content, Subscribe for more.